Hey everyone, welcome to Space But Messier. My name is Tony and I'll be doing a bit of an unboxing here for you of a package that I've been anxiously waiting for a really long time. Uh, but first, I'll give you a bit of a background. <music> In 1977, NASA launched two Voyager spacecraft, both with the goal of reaching interstellar space. Attached to each of them was a golden record, one that you might play on a turntable at your house or like a vinyl record, each of them depicting different areas of Earth, some with hundreds of images of Earth and nature, some with sounds and greetings from other languages, and some of the best music from our Earth as well. Today, Osmo Record has released a copy, a duplicate, of this golden record and to be honest, Voyager Golden Record is one of the things that inspired me to get into space in the first place, and when I found out that this was being released, I was beyond excited. So, let's get on with this unboxing and get it underway. Oh my god. This is so good. Okay, so first thing we see here, is the front. Now, the front uh, may look a little confusing. Um, this is actually a replica of the plate, the cover that was over both of the records on each um, of the spacecraft. This may seem a little bit confusing to you, um, but it's all written in binary code. Uh, so I'll do my best to explain really quickly. Um, this is going to be a diagram of the turntable itself with the binary code on the outside telling you how fast it'll be spun at. This is a diagram as well of um, the cartridge here and the record here. This is a map um, for any extraterrestrial life that finds our sun. This is our sun here and 14 known pulsars um, that we know the directions of. And the uh, binary code here represents the frequency coming from those uh, pulsars. This one here is all instructions on how to read the video and how to decode the images. And then lastly down here is um, the hydrogen atoms. So the hydrogen atoms at their simplest state. This is so cool. Oh, and it came with this pin that I was not expecting. Okay, this is a Voyager Golden Record pin. It's got the same design as this, and I did not know this was coming. This is so exciting. Okay, awesome. Cool, pin is the first one. Okay, now I wasn't really gonna open this. Just kidding, yes I will. First thing we see uh, is we open it like this. Uh, to download the Golden Record audio, visit www. blank blank blah blah blah. There's a code on here. Very cool. There's a download code there. This is one of my favorite parts actually. This is going to be the turntable slip mat. So uh, we you can put this on. It's the felt slip mat that covers your turntable when you're not using it. Um, and it's actually a diagram of the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft uh, path through space as they exited our solar system. So as you can see, they both start here. They both rendezvous with Jupiter and Saturn, and then Voyager 2 hits Uranus and Neptune on its way out as well. That is so wicked. Next, um, we've got a foil print of the cover that you saw originally. Now, this is so cool, uh, meant to be framed and hung obviously. Uh, very cool replica of the cover. They did a really, really good job for this as well. Wow. Very cool. Next, no doubt, will be the records, I hope. We've got this record sleeve, which has the diagram of the Voyager on it, and a little bit of information on the back. And this is Voyager Records side A. Um, from this one, on this record, we've got a greeting from the Secretary General of the United Nations. Greetings in 55 languages, United Nations greetings, whale songs, and the sounds of Earth. Very cool. Let's get a glimpse. I told myself I was going to use gloves for this part. This is the gold translucent vinyl. Oh my god, this is so cool. Um, that they have released. All three of them look like this. Uh, for the sake of not wanting to put fingerprints on these, I will not be taking all three of them out right now, but this is what they all look like. Wow. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that. Very cool. Back in your sleeve stay forever. Th 
The next one uh, is a really cool depiction of our solar system, each planet in the solar system there. Um, and then the back has some more detail as well. This one's got, it starts off with Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry. Oh, this is so cool. If you haven't uh, had a chance to check out all the songs that were included um, on the Voyager record, uh, it's a really good idea. Some beautiful music on it. They actually sell, if you can't, uh, if you don't have the means to get this copy, they do have the digital copy and the CD for sale as well. Um, you can find it on the internet. Um, it's really easy to get your hands on. And this one is cool. Carl Sagan's son actually recorded his voice on the record saying, um, hello from the children of planet Earth. Um, very cool, he's clearly an adult now. Um, some more details on the back. Symphony number no. five in C major uh, from Beethoven. It's the first one on this one. Very cool. Okay, we're gonna load this one up too. This is actually a dream come true. So one of the things that got me into space originally was um, seeing Neil deGrasse Tyson's interpretation of Cosmos uh, from originally from Carl Sagan and their, um, their interpretation or their episode on the Voyager spacecraft is one of the things that just made me fall in love with space exploration and I was already collecting vinyl records at that point and I told myself if there ever was a day where somebody came out with a duplicate or a replica of um, the Voyager spacecraft golden record, I would be first in line. Well, I wasn't first in line on the Kickstarter for this. I did get it eventually. This is going to be the book that comes along with it that tells us everything, all the history, all the facts. I'm definitely opening this. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Just like kindergarten, I'm gonna read you this book page by page. The launching of this bottle into the cosmic ocean says something very hopeful about the life of this planet. Carl Sagan. Here we've got the golden record. Um, David Peskovitz, Timothy Daly, and Lawrence Azarod were the ones to create this replica. Um, with Timothy Ferris as the consulting producer see what we've got here. Table of contents. Really cool images here. This is going to be a full-on history of the Voyager record. Um, some of the pictures that were included as well. You guys, these are the pictures. These are the images that an alien will find if they pick up our Voyager spacecraft. If you guys don't have a copy of this vinyl record, uh, box. Oh, here's all the greetings in all the languages. Oh, so cool. Very cool. Um, oh, it also includes images of different planets that the Voyagers passed by. These are all pictures taken by the Voyager spacecraft on their way out of the solar system. And if you missed my explanation of um, the front, so the cover here, um, that's upside down. This is a little lost to you on the back cover of this book. Here we go. There's a full explanation as well. So here's the book. We've got our pin, our download code. We have our slip mat for our um, turntable. We have this gold uh, foil print. And of course, our gold translucent vinyls here. Um, wonderful product by Osmo Records. I am so excited um, to play with this, read the book, load this on my turntable, um, and see what else we've got in store. So um, if you like this video, uh, please share it with friends. Um, also, if you'd like to support us, please like and subscribe to this video and channel. We've got a lot more good stuff coming to you uh, this year. So um, it's been a pleasure, and thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time on Space But Messier. Bye.